Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth and final video in the Suzy Sweets series. And as you recall, the whole point of these were how you can do web design on a Chromebook. When we left off, we had edited these cards so that um, the contents reflect uh, what the card is supposed to go to. Now, I just noticed something that we made links out of the buttons, but the card itself isn't clickable. So let's go try to take care of that very first thing. So I'm going to go to my carrot and we're going to go to index.html and go down and find the cards. There's only three. And let's see here. Let us start right here. And we'll make this image into a link. And we're going to make it match what this is pointing to. So we're going to point it to uh, cupcakes.html. Like so. And then we'll close the A right here. And make sure to delete that automatically created closing anchor. Okay, and I'm going to save. Control S or file save. And let's go give it a refresh. And there you go. Now that is clickable. So I'm going to leave it to you guys to do the other two cards yourself to get the images turned into links. So do the same thing, except you're going to do it on the other two cards. So we've turned these into links. That's good. Now the next thing, one of the main purposes that we were going to do or main things we were going to do was change the color of these primary buttons. And remember stuff like that happens in CSS. So, uh, BTN hyphen primary is what we're trying to override. So we come back into our CSS and I'm going to go dot BTN hyphen primary because it's the BTN hyphen primary class and classes start with a dot. And we'll say background color colon and let's go pick a um, background color for the button we won't do anything fancy for this um, I'm just going to pick something here alright let's get our little hex code and we'll just paste it in I don't think we have to override it with important. No. So there we go. And you can see it's got the, the blue outline. So we have to deal with that as well. The border, the blue border, I should say. So let's go to border hyphen color colon. And then one of the things you can do is either go lighter or darker than the base color. So in this case, uh, let's just go a little bit lighter and get a lighter purple for that. It'll make it pop a little bit. Control C on the color code or right click and copy. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, so now we've got our... Uh, border set the right way and the last thing I wanted to do in this short video is put links to all of the um, resources that we used because we have to give them proper credit uh, in order to use them because most of them were creative commons with attribution so you should always be honorable even though the copyright police most likely isn't going to come after you for a creative commons with attribution. If you don't give attribution, they could, but they often won't. So, uh, just try to be honorable. Okay. 
So we're going to go in here to the footer. And this is where all the stuff uh, lives. It's down at the bottom. And um, you can see that we have a container and there's no columns or anything. Um, so let's just do copyright and we'll say Susie Sweets. Or copyright 2020 Susie Sweets, I guess would make more sense. All right. Now we'll do another paragraph. And I'll do, uh, let's copy these classes. Um, let's leave a little bit of margin. The M0 makes it with no margin, but we want some margin on this. And we'll make the text white. Okay. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll just do a little comma separated list right here of all the folks that we used their stuff. And that's where this, uh, sources came in that I made sure to copy all right and then we put the comma on the outside of the anchor and a space and then we do a href equals and it's going to automatically close our anchor since these are totally new. Now it's entirely up to you as the user of the content to make sure that you do hold some kind of a license to these materials. So uh, you can't use material and just give attribution to it unless it's under some license for you to do so. And all of these resources are. So I'm just giving attribution to uh, cover my usage. Even though some of them are public domain, I'm going to be a good citizen and give attribution anyway. And for this one, I'm going to give this person's name here as uh, the uh, the thanks, not Wikipedia, since we know the person's name. Okay, and I'll go copy that name because it's kind of long. This one's Steven DiPolo from Flickr, so that's what we'll do. And remember to always put what you want to be clickable in between the open an A and the close an A. It's very, very important. So let's save and go give this a look. Okay. It's not the greatest looking thing in the world, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Um, I am going to go add some top margin on this. So let's go back into carrot and find this paragraph we made instead of M0. 
I'm going to go um, MT for top and uh, three. MT three. Margin, top, and then three. Whatever the multiplied out um, factor is for um, the bootstrap margin class. There we go. It moved it out a little bit. And these blue links down here don't look too bad. So for a simple little project, there you go. That's, uh, that's how we did it. And like I said, if you have any questions on getting any of this to work, just let me know. And I will try my best to help you out and answer your questions. You guys stay safe and have a good day.